Hello, Peg. This is Riley. Listen, I think I'm going to be home a little late. I'm in the butcher shop. It's that insurance guy. He was waiting for me at the plant again. <laughs> yeah, but I popped in here to give him the slip. <laughs> Who's stupid? I know what I'm doing, Peg. <laughs> All right, I'll be home as soon as I can get there. Huh? The butcher? Well, what do you want? Oh, no, Peg, I'm getting sick and tired of hamburgers. Can't we have... Yeah, yeah, that's better. A pound of beef hearts and a pound of liver for tomorrow. Okay, I'll tell Jake to charge it. Okay, Dumbo. Bye. Hey, Jake, the missus wants a pound of beef hearts and a pound of liver. Deliver it tomorrow and charge it. All right, Mr. Riley. Liver and beef hearts. Thank you, sir. Hello, Mr. Riley. You're the Mr. Yates, but don't be lying. Look, I told you, Mr. Yates, I told you, I don't need any of your boss, Mr. Stevenson. He said you'd be very glad to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Could I go on? No, no, no hurry. That's fine. All right, I won't take but a minute of your time. Sit down, Mr. Riley. Now, the policy I, I had in my home, my wife is waiting for me now, you see. I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Get back here. Ah, here we are. Now, then, this policy, Mr. Riley, is ideally suited to you. It provides the relief in the event of your death. $5,000. Five thousand dollars, either in a lump sum or a little monthly payment. Where are you, Mr. Hayes? Now, let me show you that I don't need Mr. Riley. Look, I haven't carried all my life, Mr. Yates. I don't want to start now. Very interesting point. I appreciate your point, Mr. Riley. After all, I'll quote you some statistics on the mortality rate of people in your family. Yates! You want it on the telephone? Mr. Riley. I want you to know the fidelity coming in is all great. We're all friends. I want to make you happy. That's all. Make me happy as you know. Pass on. You're the one to care. This is money that we don't like to pay, and it's yours, I say. Want you to know, Mr. Riley, that you've got a high balance. You're insured by the fidelity. All right, Ronald. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a very fine thing for a man of your occupation. Now, let me see. Please give me money. Oh, sorry. Here we are. Yes, sir. Now, according to these figures, Mr. Riley, when a man gets to be your age, Mr. Yates, my age has got nothing to do with it. I'll get this song now as I was 20 years ago. I can tear a telephone book in half. I'll show you, Mr. Yates. Then maybe you'll realize that I don't need any. Here you are, Mr. Yates. Nine years. Accounts for that. What makes me a 71 year? The doctor, on the other hand. Hey, I'll be here. Just that's you do here. Here it goes. Down and down. Look here, Mr. Yates. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y
here. Hmm. Anything wrong, Doc? Shh. Do you have any pain here? Yeah, Doc. Now that you mention it, only this morning I had a little stabbing pain right here. Hmm. Is there anything wrong, Doc? Well, you can get dressed now. Oh, then I'm okay? Well, before I can actually okay you for any insurance, I'll have to wait for the x-rays and the cardiogram. Oh, well, the place that took them said they'd send them over to you tomorrow. I see. Uh, Doc, when you get them, uh, would you mind telling me how they came out? You know, not that I'm worried or anything, but if you'd give me a ring, I'd... Yes, I'll do that, Mr. Riley. Thank you very much, Doc. Oh, we mustn't forget this. I'll need that for your blood count. Oh, oh, you're going to count my blood. Well, don't forget to add the gallon I gave to the Red Cross. Yes, of course. Good night, Doc. Good night. Junior, listen, I want you to go by the... Junior! Toss it to me, Mom. I'm talking to you. I want you to go by the butcher and pick up our order. It's for supper. Oh, let Babs go. I got basketball practice. I've got a date for the movie. Well, listen, I can't stand here and argue with you. I'm late, but one of you better go. Bye. Bye. Oh, well, that's for me. Hello? Is Mr. Riley there? No, he isn't. Who's calling? Tell him Dr. Blake phoned. Yes, I will. Bye. Hey. Now, don't forget to go to the butcher's. Well, wait a second here. Oh, jeez. Hello? Hello, is Mrs. Riley there? No, she's out. This is Jake the butcher. Will you tell her that I can't fill her order? The heart's all gone and the liver's no good. Okay, I'll tell her. Now, don't forget, Sonny. I won't. Hi, Junior. Is your mother home? No, she went to PTA. Oh, hey, was there any phone calls for me? Yeah, some doctor. Doctor, what did he say? Well, I don't know. Babs took the message. Well, so long, Pop. So long, Junior. <laughs> phone? Heart's all gone. And liver no good. <laughs> I'm a sick man. I gotta tell Peg. Peg. Oh. oh it's all done. Living no good. I'm nothing but a hollow shell. I gotta tell Peg. I might not last much longer. Hello. Is this the school? Uh, would you tell Mrs. Chester A. Riley to come to the phone, please? Meeting? Well, this is Mr. Chester A. Riley. Would you tell her to call me right away? It's a matter of life and death. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Oh, I feel worse. Doctor. Doctor. You ought to be able to do something for me. They got all those new drugs. Maybe a shot of sleptomycin. Hello? Is the doctor there? He's gone away for the weekend. Well, this is Mr. Chester A. Riley. When can I see him? He'll be able to see me Monday. Yeah. But will I be able to see him? <laughs> Poor Peg. Poor Peg. Hello? Riley, what's wrong? Peg, I... I... I can't let her suffer. What? Riley, why did you call me? Oh, uh, do you know where my blue shirt is, Peg? Is that why you called me out of the middle of a meeting? And you had the nerve to say it was a matter of life or death. You scared the wits out of me. You, you're heartless. Don't, you never said a true word. <laughs> Can't let Peg see this mess. I gotta bear the brunt of this by myself.
<laughs> These are good. <laughs> Pop, get a of this one. <laughs> Junior, would you put the book down for a minute? I, I got something to tell you. What is it, Pop? Junior, you, you'll be grown up soon, and you may have to be the head of the house if I should go away. Were you going somewhere? <laughs> yes, son. Maybe on a long, long journey. Well, it's about time. You deserve a vacation. Not exactly a pleasure trip, son. Oh, business for the plant. You gonna fly there? I don't know yet. I don't know what direction I'm going in. <laughs> Grandma's old shawl. You look like Whistler's mother. Chilly in here. Chilly? Well, I've got the heat on. Well, I'm chilly. Junior, will you stop turning those pages? You're making a draft. <laughs> Go in your room and read. Okay. Don't you feel well, dear? Me? Oh, I... I feel fine. Well, you sound like you got one foot in the grave. <laughs> Place back. I told you she's gone to the movies, and afterwards she's gonna have supper at Sarah's. She'll be home later. I hope she gets back before the other foot... before it's too late. Oh, don't worry about her. What's the matter with you, anyway? Hey. Huh? Give me a kiss. A kiss? Well, it's not your birthday, and you're not leaving for work, but if you insist. Well, that was quite a kiss. That's just to say thanks for the last 18 years. My, you're sentimental tonight. Say, Peg. Hmm? Suppose... Suppose something should happen to me. Suppose suddenly I... Oh, don't worry. You'll outlive me. Oh, well, sure, but just supposing. Would you ever get married again? Oh, darling, you know the answer to that. Yeah. Sure, I, I know it, but I want to make sure that you know it. Say, guess who I ran into today? Sidney Monaghan. Sidney Monaghan? Your old boyfriend? Well, he wasn't exactly... Um... He's a book salesman now. Why do you bring him up? I met him today, so I mentioned it. Yeah, but why should you mention it just after I asked you if you're going to get married again? I don't know. It just popped into my head. Oh, pop it right out of your head. Oh, you're still jealous of Sidney. Me jealous of that floor flusher? <laughs> That's a hot one. Yeah, it's silly. Because really, he's very fond of you. <laughs> You'll see when he comes here. He's coming here? Yeah, tonight. Oh, for my dead <laughs> body. Well, I'll never see him now. Yeah, well, then you talk to him. I'm going to bed. That's just fine, Adam. but I don't think you better... I know the way. Hey, you gonna hit the sack? It's early. Oh, I'm not feeling so well. Hey, a new jacket, huh? Yeah, I just got it. Nice slacks, too. Very sharp. Genuine Clyde tweed. Wears like iron. Gee, this will last you a lifetime. Yeah, sure will. Oh, boy, if I had a little scratch, I'd buy me a jacket just like this. Bet I'd look great in it, huh? Why don't you try it on? Ah, why well, tantalize myself? It's a beautiful thing, though. What's the matter, pal? Don't you feel good? I feel all right. Gillis, I gotta tell somebody. Tell someone what? Shut the door. Yeah, sure. What goes, pal? What goes, huh? Gillis, you're my pal, my friend. I can trust you. I went to the doctors today. Yeah? And, and he said that my... No. Yeah. And my liver is all... Y your liver, too? Yeah. Gee, I, I might go any minute. Oh, no, pal. You're kidding, huh? No, he said my heart was all gone. Gee, 
crazy. I can't believe it. Without you, kid, it just won't be the same. It just won't be the same. Don't take it so hard, pal. We all gotta go sometime. Yeah, I know, but all along I thought I'd be the first one to go. And now, it's a funny thing. People used to look at me and say, he's the picture of hell. Yeah, you sure do look at me. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, though, it did lose a little weight lately. I haven't been feeling it. Last few days, I've been getting stabbing pains right here. I can't believe it. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, poor pig. You, you didn't tell her, huh? Why should I make her suffer? Gee, you're brave. It, it's better that way. She'll suffer enough afterwards. Yeah, I ain't leaving her much. Gillis, I want to ask you a favor. Sure, pal, anything. You're my friend. The little I do leave. I don't want it spent on a big funeral. I want Peg to have it. I'll see to it. I'll talk to Digger. He'll give you a rock bottom price. Gee. <laughs> Just a quiet little ceremony for a few close friends. Gosh, I wish I had something to give you. Oh, don't worry about that now. You'll think of something. <laughs> Gee, this is a nice outfit. That must be that Monahan. Peggy Bob. Hello. Take your hat. The same old Peggy. Gorgeous as ever. As the aspirin said to the boric acid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, <laughs> Fine thing. I'm in here kicking off, and my wife's in there laughing it up with an old boyfriend. Yeah, what can you expect from a woman of the opposite sex? I think you have the courtesy to wait till I stop breathing. Yeah. Well, it won't be long now. Besides, you got to think of your family. What do you mean? Well, Peg is still young. Monaghan is single. She likes him. He likes her. <laughs> da dum da dee. Da dum da dee. Do you mean that him and Peg nothing doing? But think of Peg, a poor penniless widow. She won't know the difference. She was a penniless wife. Then think of the kids. monaghan has got a future. He could take good care of them. That's the least you could do for them. But I. Here, snug it in here for me, will you please? That's the least I can do for them. Thanks. I ain't leaving them much. Be big, pal. As a matter of fact, if I was you, I'd encourage a little romance while you still got a chance. <laughs> You're right. I'll do it for Peg and the kids. Yeah. I'm going out right now. Okay. Hey, you better put on a bathrobe. Oh, oh Sidney, how you talk. I'm an old married woman, you know. Sure, but you don't have to worry. Even if you are middle-aged. Middle-aged, me? With proper diet, you've still got a chance. Now, that's why I'm here. I have here a copy of a remarkable book, How to Be Fit at 40 or the Battle of the Bow. Did you come here to sell me a book? Well, sure, what else? Well, I thought... Oh, I get it. You thought that I... <laughs> you got me wrong, baby. As the Sultan said when he beheaded his old wife, I'd rather have two at 20 than one at 40. <laughs> Mr. Monaghan, I think you'd better go. Yeah, but this book... I said, please go. Okay, okay. As the train whistle said to the railroad crossing, I think I'll blow. <laughs> oh, 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 very good, Sissy. <laughs> How are you two old friends getting along? Great, huh? Mr. Monaghan is just going. Going? Why, well, he just got here. Sit down, sit, old pal. <laughs> Say, take a look at my wife. Pretty as a pitcher, ain't she? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, and boy, can she cook. Where do you taste the cooking? Hey, Peg, look at him. He's blushing. Ain't he a handsome brute? And Peg, single. <laughs> and also well fixed. Ain't you, Sidney? <laughs> Say, I really have to be... You know what a man of your age ought to do? You ought to settle down with a widow, with two orphans. What? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> he certainly got his nerve. You, of all the talk. Ah. Uh, uh, Roddy, what is it? A pain. Right here in my heart. 
Oh, darling. Oh, no. Junior, Junior, help me. Just pain, pain. Get What's the matter? Water. Get some water. I won't last another minute. Oh, oh. Riley, look. My heart. No, a safety pin. I told you a thousand times to tell me when the buttons are missing. Hey, it's no sense to try to kid me. I know I'm a god. I won't last much longer. Junior, come close to me, dump it. Please take care of your mother and your sister. All I leave you is my good name. Oh, stop it. You're all right. And stop it. I hit $10 in the radio. It's behind the third tube from the left. Oh, oh right. Oh, so long, Gillis. Wear my new suit and good health. Oh, listen, there's nothing wrong, I tell you. Hi. What's the matter? Hello, Patsy. Daddy. I'm sinking fast. <laughs> you know... No heart. Flip his own car. The doctor. Oh, no, that wasn't the doctor. That was the butcher. I took that message. The beef heart. I thought the doctor. Riley, you don't. Oh, this beef. Oh. Boy, Bob, you sure are mixed up. Mixed up? He's nuts. Oh, Daddy, how did you make such a mistake? <laughs> you mean that I'm going to live? <laughs> what a revolting development this is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.